Good evening, and uh, welcome again to <coughs> Canadian Orthodox Broadcasting System. Uh, this evening we'll be on YouTube. Last week, on Thursday, I was in Chicago and uh, was asked to come for an interview at National Public Radio, NPR. And the question that was posed was really about uh, the secularization of Christmas. It seems an evangelical group had gotten together and they were trying to react to what they considered to be a war against Christmas. Now, the idea was that Christmas had be, was being secularized and they wanted to uh, resist that secularization. There are several uh, things that come to mind in discussing that subject. First of all, Christmas is a secular holiday, and it has been essentially since the 1800s. If one looks, for example, at Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, there's nothing in it that has any relationship to Christianity or to Jesus Christ. It's a secular tale. The transformation of Ebenezer Scrooge takes place through his uh, exploration of himself. The spirit of Christmas past takes him into the past and shows him where his bitterness comes from. And then he's taken through a realization of the emptiness and meaningless of his own life. And it's this self-realization that finally works his transformation. I know a lot of people will protest the idea that Christmas has long been a secular holiday. And yet, this is perfectly true. Of course, this uh, quandary of the Feast of the Nativity of Christ being submerged by the Norse god of winter, who's called Santa Claus, and the uh, ancient pre-Christian Yule tree, which is actually uh, a tree that was decorated to celebrate the shortest day of the year, knowing that the succeeding days now are going to begin to get longer. Aside from that, uh, Christmas has been a commercial secular holiday. Now, those Orthodox Christians who continue to use the traditional Orthodox calendar simply don't face that quandary because the Nativity of Christ is completely divorced and separated by 13 days from the secular holiday with the uh, Norse god of winter, Jim, or Jim Morosh, Grandpa Frost, and uh, the gift giving and all of these other things so that the focus is solely on the Nativity of Christ. The word Christmas itself doesn't have any resonance with most people in relationship to being connected with Christ. You can say Christina or Christopher or any other name that has the word Christ in it, and it doesn't resonate with anybody as having any relationship to Christ. And even now, when people are often referring to holiday, it never dawns on 99% of the people that the word means holy day. It's simply holiday, just as Christmas is simply uh, now uh, really a secular term for a certain uh, holiday that occurs during the year. And wanting to change from uh, Christmas to a holy day or holiday isn't really the issue. Christians themselves have diminished the feast in regards to the Christian celebration of it. It really has become uh, the birthday of baby Jesus instead of the incarnation of the living God. And this is one of the great problems. I know a lot of uh, Orthodox Christians who, using the new calendar, are faced with the same conflict, have even adopted some kind of sectarian or Protestant habit of having a birthday cake for baby Jesus and commemorating the birthday of baby Jesus, and even putting up the little crash or manger scenes in which Jesus is depicted as a helpless babe, something you would never, ever see in Orthodox Christian icons, where even in the manger, Christ is depicted as a miniature adult and wrapped in swaddling at the same as he would be wrapped in the winding sheets for burial, with simply the face uncovered, to be covered with a separate napkin or cloth in the burial. 
So the whole prophecy about the purpose for the Incarnation is given there in the icon of the Nativity of Christ. But when people begin to talk about the birthday of baby Jesus, or focusing on um, baby Jesus, and you'll notice in the crest themes, Christ is never even wrapped in swaddling. Uh, and there's no symbolism that reveals to us the purpose of the Incarnation. And indeed, in most Christian settings, Christmas is not celebrated as the incarnation of the living God for the transformation, for the redemption and transformation of the fallen human nature. Rather, it really has been reduced down to a miraculous birth of a little helpless baby 2,000 years ago. And this has no resonance of any spiritual quality or value. And it's not what we're celebrating in any case. The incarnation of God is a great event that caused the whole universe to tremble and interjected into the very symmetry of the universe, transforming and changing it forever. The incarnation of the living God is what we're celebrating, not the birth of baby Jesus. And this is the beginning of our salvation. Of course, when one follows the heretical atonement doctrine of, of salvation, the incarnation of God is not nearly so important. What one is focused on is uh, the creation of a fit human sacrifice that could satisfy the, the perverted justice of an offended and malicious deity of some kind. But this also diminishes from the meaning of the Incarnation, or that is, the birth of Christ. So, Christians themselves have so diminished the celebration of the event, and what the, the understanding of what the event means, that it's small wonder that it has finally yielded itself totally to a secular holiday. And, of course, in any uh, North American situation, Christianity is not necessarily the dominant faith. Externally, it might appear that way, but in fact, Islam is the fastest growing faith in the United States and in Canada. There are also an increasing number of atheists, Buddhists, some Hindus, a lot of Sikhs. Uh, so Christianity is not alone any longer. We have this multidimensional culture uh, around us, and uh, Judaism has a major feast near the same time as the Nativity of Christ. But you see, here's another problem. Many Orthodox Christians have helped to diminish this event themselves by adopting Protestant terminology and Protestant practices. Actually, the word Advent means absolutely nothing to anyone. And when we talk about the Advent fast rather than the Nativity fast, this is just one more removal of a real focus on the meaning of the event. And when we refer to Christmas rather than the Nativity of Christ, this is an enormous closing of the door on the actual meaning of the event. And I dare say that not enough Orthodox Christians any longer are focused on this great feast day with its solemnity and majesty. As the celebration of the Incarnation of the Living God. And uh, instead, the focus really does shift toward baby Jesus, and it's, the, the idea of it is overwhelmed by the giving of gifts and by the roasting of turkeys and, and these sort of things. The Christmas season has many really marvelous and good points to it, but they're not necessarily collect, connected with religion. In this particular season, people feel more generous, they're more charitable, they're more giving, and more caring. But the same would have been said in pagan times as well, when people celebrated the winter solstice with the same decorated tree and the same Grandfather Frost.